friends. Hi, friends. I am Mr. Brian. My pronouns are he and him. And over there, or somewhere, is... Miss Madison! And my pronouns are she and her. And we are with the Quinton Street Project, bringing you drama. And drama is all about telling a story using those three tools of the actor. First, do it with me. Body. Second, voice. And third, imagination. Imagination. Fantastic. And last week we talked about voice, expressing ourselves through our voice and through uh, subtext in the text. And this week we are going to be talking about, drum roll please, blocking. And that's right, the word is blocking with a B-L-O-C-K-I-N-G. And that is all the business on stage, where you move and when you move. And before we do anything else, I uh, want to check in with how we're feeling today. I want to check in with how you're feeling today. All feelings are valid. So when I say go, I want you to give me a statue of how you're feeling today. I want you to use your face. I want you to use your body. I want you to fill up this whole entire screen that you have. All right. I want you to convey that so that way we can see how you're feeling today. All right. So on the count of three, one, two, first stop, best stop, three, go. And freeze. And I want you to take this feeling. I want you to stay frozen. And I want you to take a big, deep breath in. Breathe this in. Breathe this feeling in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And hold it. And when we exhale, we're going to bring our hands to our side. We're going to go back to actor neutral. Exhale. All right. Take one big breath in. Just a regular breath in. And breathe out. Acknowledging how we're feeling and what we're bringing into the class. And now what I want us to do is I want you to give me laser eyes and laser focus on Miss Madison. Just kidding. There's, I'm there here. She is. I'm here. I'm here. All righty, friends. Now we are going to warm up those three tools of an actor. We have our body. We have our voice. And we have our imagination. And we need to warm them up so they are ready. We got to get all noodly. So stand up if you can. If you can't, no worries. Here we go. Reach up to the sky. Guys, stretch, 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 stretch. Get as tall as you possibly can. Stretch, 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 stretch. And drop just your fingers and leave everything else up. Boop. And drop just your hands, but leave everything else up. Boop. Drop just your elbows and leave everything else up. Boop. And wear your shoulders like earrings. Look at my earrings. Very cute, very cute. And deep breath in. Drop your shoulders. Very nice. One more time, super fast. Hands up and drop your fingers. Whew, drop your hands. Whew, drop your elbows. Whew, shoulder earrings and drop your shoulders. Huh, very nice. Roll all the way down, touch your toes. And roll all the way back up. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Awesome. From out of nowhere, we're going to pull our imaginary actor backpacks. And we're going to put them on. And we're going to unzip from the back. And we're going to take out a giant crayon. Strap it to your head. Draw circles on the ceiling. Circle, 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 circle. And switch sides or switch directions. Great. And take your crayon off. Break it now. Strap it to your shoulders. Draw circles on the walls, circles on the walls. And forward, forward, forward. And make them backwards, but really tiny. And now make them forwards, but really huge. And take your crayons off. Throw them away. Get out of here, Kranz. Just kidding, Kranz. Love you. See you later. All right, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome. From inside your backpack, you got to reach back. Oh, it's already unzipped. And you're going to pull out your cleaning towel, your magical cleaning towel. And you got to clean because you just drew all over the walls. You got to clean up. Go, go, go. Clean, 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 clean. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's clean. Throw that towel away. See you later, towel. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Take your backpack off. Whoop. Put it in front of you. Take out a basketball, whoop, and dribble. Dribble, 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 dribble. And switch. Dribble, 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 dribble. And in between your hands, really fast. And super slow. And you're going to shoot your basketball all the way up into the air. Whoo! And you're going to watch it fall down. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, count with me. Five, four, three, two. Catch it on your shoulder. That's 
that's your shoulder, not your elbow. Now throw it to your elbow. Boink, 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 boink. And switch. Boink, 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 boink. And on your knee. Boink, 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 boink. And on your foot. Boink, 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 boink. And spin it on your finger because you're so good. And catch that basketball using all of your superhero strength. Think of your favorite superhero. And squish that basketball. Oh, crush it, crush it, crush it. Oh, it's so, uh, it's so hard, it's so hard, it's so hard. So much effort and turns into a gumball. Pop it in your mouth. Chew your gumball. Give me five nice big chews. Count with me, friends. One, two, three, four, five. Blow a little bubble. Medium bubble. Big bubble. And pop it. Um, say, oh no. Oh no. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Okay, and flick that gum away. Pew. See you later, gum. Actually, I won't. That's gross. Don't put your gum back in your mouth. All right, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Awesome. We are ready to put back on our actor backpacks. We're going to warm up our voice a little bit more before we start blocking. Repeat after me. <gasps> Bubba. 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 Ba no, very sad. Good girl. 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 Good Na 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 and our actor scarves, and our actor glasses, and our actor berets, and our actor backpacks, and we're ready to go. Everybody find your binoculars and look at Mr. Brian. Oh, look at you all with your actor berets. Love it, love it. All right, friends, this activity is called Director's Coming. Director's Coming. And we are gonna talk about blocking a little bit more. Blocking again, being the business of uh, being uh, the business on stage, the movement, when you go, where you go. And we are going to actually talk a, bit, a little bit about how um, directors and actors communicate with each other. Because when you're in the audience, you see things in a certain way, uh, in a certain direction. And when you're actors on stage, you see things in a different perspective. So when you're on stage, um, back long ago, the stages actually used to be raked. And what that means is the back of the stage was higher than the front of the stage. So back of the stage was actually up higher. The front of the stage was actually down lower. And for that reason, the back of the stage was called upstage. Can we all say that with me? Upstage. Upstage. And the front of the stage, since it was down lower, was called downstage. Can you say it down. with me? Downstage. Excellent. All right. Now imagine you're an actor on stage. Oh, look at that. With your berets, you're already there. Actors on stage. Imagine you're in the very middle of the stage. Imagine you're on stage facing an audience and you're in the very center. That is called center stage. Can we all say center stage? Center stage. All right, when you're in the middle, you're in center stage. So right now, I want you to imagine, I want you to imagine you're gonna cross. Another word for uh, move or walk um, or just move towards uh, is called cross. When you're on stage, cross is another way of saying moving towards, moving in a direction. So when I say cross, that just means move towards. I want you all right now, if you're in the, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I want you to look around. I want you to clear a little space if possible. If you're at your desk, if you're, if you have space to move, I want you to clear enough space that you can stretch out your arms at least, at least. 
do as I do, not as I do as I say, not as I do, because I don't have as much space as I would like, but I want you to have it. So clear any bottles, clear any things. If it's possible to pause right now, please do so. Um, give you a few seconds here. All right, got enough space, got enough space. Wonderful. So I want you to imagine this is your stage. As far as your arms reach, that is your stage. And in the very middle of this space that you have, imagine that very middle point, that's your center stage. Can we all cross, move to center stage, the very middle? Can we all do that right now? Fantastic. And now I want you to imagine the very front, as far as you can go forward, that, that edge of your front space, I want you to cross there. And you are now, you have now successfully crossed downstage. So, fantastic, fantastic. All right, and now can you cross back to center stage? Cross back to center stage. All right, and now the very back of the stage, very back of the stage, cross there, cross up stage, cross up stage, fantastic. Don't go too far, just to the edge of that up stage. And you are now su successfully up stage. Give yourselves a round of applause, a round of applause. Back to center stage, cross to center stage. And now when I say, oh, and now, pick up your right hand, pick up your right hand. It might be mirrored here, so don't worry. Pick up your right hand, and I want you to point to your right. I want you to cross to the right, cross to the right, just like Miss Madison is doing. And you have now successfully crossed stage right. Give yourselves an applause, sign applause, sign applause, stage right. And now back to center stage. And we have one more. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? It is stage left. So pick up your left hand, point to your left, and let's cross to the left of the stage. So cross, cross, cross. You are now stage left. Give yourselves a silent applause, silent applause. Give yourself a silent dance. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fantastic. Back to center stage, friends. Back to center stage. All right. And now what I want you to do is I want you, to, we're going to combine some of these elements real quick. So since we know where upstage, downstage, stage left, stage right is, I want you Right now, let's, let's just warm these brain, things up in our brain real quick, real quick. Can you cross downstage, cross downstage? If you're in the front of the stage, you're absolutely correct. Back to center stage, back to center stage. Can you cross upstage? Back here, back here. And if you are in the back of the stage, you're absolutely correct. Back to center stage, back to center stage. And now if you could, please cross stage left, stage left stage left. And if you have crossed to your left, you're absolutely correct. And back to center stage. And please cross stage right. Stage right. And if you have moved to your right, you're absolutely correct. Give yourselves a round of applause, round of applause. And back to center stage, back to center stage. All right, friends. And last but not least, there is one more element to it. And I want to add this. Actually, there's two more elements. This is going to go a little longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. And now I want you to combine the elements in your head because we know where up, down, left, right is, and we know where center stage is. Now, here's the thing. If you ever forget, when you're on stage as the actor, the direction that you move is in relation to the audience. All right. So anytime you're not sure, well, am I supposed to move this way or that way? Which way's left? Which way's right? Which way's up? Which way's down? Ah! Now the thing is, if you're not sure, simply face the audience. Simply face the audience. For example, Miss Madison, can can you turn around, or just move it? Yeah. And let's just say. Once upon a time, Miss Madison didn't know where stage left, stage right was. She was panicking. Oh no. If only she had Ritz and she could, she could figure this out. But right now, oh, she remembered. Face the audience, face the audience. Because when I say turn stage left, now it's that much easier. And that's right, that's right. And now she can have some Ritz and things are perfect. Fantastic. And victory dance, victory dance, everybody. All right, and let's go back to center stage. And all right, friends, let's combine these elements. Now we know we're up, left, right. Uh, down, yeah, uh, and center in R. So can I have you cross down stage left, down stage left. And if you're not sure, it's in the language, it's in the words, down, so down to the front and left, perfect. And if you're down in the front left of your stage, you are correct. All right, let's go back to center stage. And let's do one more. Can we go up 
stage right, up stage right, up to the right. That's right, We're going up to the back of the stage and to the right, it's all in the words. Fantastic, all right, back to center stage. All right, so I feel like you got the hang of this right now. So let's play with some, uh, let's play with some phrases here. When I say, hmm, let me see here. I would like to see you cross down stage left. But before I do, at any point, let me rewind, let me rewind. I'm gonna give you some, I'm gonna give you some phrases here. So let me see here. When I say Shakespeare, I want you to strike your most dramatic pose. And I want you to say, to be or not to be. To be or not to be. And things could be going normal and regular and regular and regular. And then I could say Shakespeare. To be or not, or not to, to be. be. Fantastic, and let that go. All right, can I have you cross downstage right, cross downstage right, and Shakespeare. To be or not, not to, to be. be. And let that go, let that go. And can I have you, actually, can I just have you move around the space, move around the space, move around your, move around your little space as much as you can, or just look to the different parts of the space. Turn your head there. And can you cross up stage left, up stage left, and Shakespeare. To be, to be or not, not to, be. to be. Fantastic, fantastic. And let that go. Move around your space, move around your space. When I say check off, when I say check off, I want you to give me your most confused face. And I want you to scratch your head, scratch your chin. And I want you to say, I am the seagull. No, that's not right. I am the seagull. No, that's not right. All right, fantastic, fantastic. And check off. I am the seagull. Oh, that's, that's not, not right. right. All right, and cross, move around the space, move around the space, move around the space. And give me stage right, cross stage right, cross the stage right, and check off. I am the seagull. Oh, no, that's, that's not, not right. right. Fantastic, fantastic. And tip your berets and walk around the space, walk around the space. And freeze. And when I say curtain speech, I want you to stand politely. Cross your hands in front of you, stand tall. Give me your most, pol most polite, sweet smile. And when I say curtain speech, I want you to say, please silence your cell phones. Please silence your cell phones. And shut up your babies. <laughs> shut up your babies. And cross around the space, cross around the space, cross around the space. And let me see here. Can I have you cross to downstage center? And curtain speech. Please silence your cell phones and shut up your babies. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, and cross around the space. Let's do one more, let's do one more. And freeze. When I say... Tennessee Williams, I would love it if you raise your hands to the sky and in your most dramatic yell, I want you to say, Stella! Stella! Fantastic, fantastic. And cross around the space, cross around the space, and cross the center stage, and Tennessee Williams. Stella! Stella! And actor neutral, tip your berets. And uh, flip your, uh, why can't I think of this word? Flip this thing back. back. Scarf. Scarf, thank you. And uh, laser eyes on Miss Madison. Woo! I gotta sit down. That was a workout, Mr. Brent. All right. <gasps> Friends, now that we know where our, there we are. All right. Friends, now I have my plant here. My plant friend. All right. Now, friends, that we know where our stage directions are, we need to start applying that to our story, all right? So what's going to happen is this is the part of class where we would have rehearsal. And rehearsal is when we learn and practice what we're going to be doing on stage, what our blocking is, right? All the business. So our story, remember, is Mufaro's beautiful daughter. So you're going to pick a character 
and you're going to follow along. And when I say your character's name, you're going to follow that instruction. Yes, we got it. All right. So the characters that you can choose, let me remind you, Mufaro is the father. All right. Mufaro is the father. He has two daughters, Manyara, and Manyara is the mean one. You can remember it. I call her Minyara. <laughs> All right, Manyara is the not nice daughter. Okay, so you can pick Manyara. That's a fun character to play. That's really fun. You get to be a little bit mean. And Niyasha. Niyasha is the nice daughter. Um, nice Yasha. All right, so Minyara and nice Yasha. Um, you can be them, you can be the father, or you can be Nioka, who comes in a little bit later, and Nioka starts as the snake, but remember, that's the one that becomes the king in the end. All right, so you can choose one of those four characters, Mufaro, Manyara, Niasha, and Nioka. All righty, Mr. Brian, who are you going to be? I was thinking I would be Nioka. Awesome. I'm going to be Manyara, of course. All right. Who are you going to be, friends? Awesome. Good choice. All good choices. Here we go. Mufaro's beautiful daughter, staging rehearsal one. After scarf, flipped. Along, I also get to be the narrator. Sorry. All right. A long time ago, in a certain place in Africa, a small village lay across a river and a half, a day's journey from a city where a great king lived. So the first thing we're going to do is, as an ensemble, we haven't done that in a while, we are all going to play the different villagers. So what are some things we could be doing in the village? Show me a pantomime. Maybe you're um, farming, maybe you're making clothes, maybe you are um, talking to your friends. Just, a vi just village things, just village life. Hashtag village life. All right, a man named Mufaro lived in this village with his two daughters. And if you are playing Mufaro, you're going to pose like a king. Show me a tap or uh, yeah, no, just a dude. Uh, but a royal dude, a, a fancy dude. Um, so show me a tableau of a fancy dude, a fancy father, Mufaro. Very nice. Ah, well, he lived in this village with his two daughters who were called Manyara. Manyaras will pose. And Niyasha. Very nice. Everyone agreed that Manyara, and every single time we say your character's name, you're going to pose in that pose. Manyara and Niyasha were very beautiful. Manyara, pose, was almost always in a bad temper. And then Manyara, you are going to cross stage left in your screen. Boop. And you are going to talk to Niyasha and you are going to say, you're going to whisper it to her. Right? So we're going to put our hand here, not here, because it's covering our face. We're going to put our hand here, and we're going to stage whisper. So it's, you're still being pretty loud, but it looks like you're whispering. So repeat after me. Someday, Niasha. Someday, Niasha. I will be a queen. I will be a queen. And you will be a servant in my household. And you will be a servant in my household. And then, Niasha, you're going to cross stage right, so it looks like you're talking to her. Nice. And you are going to say, <clears throat> if that should come to pass, if that should come to pass, I will be pleased to serve you. I will be pleased to serve you. Very good. Um, all right. Do, 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 do. And Niasha also says, but why do you say such things? You are clever and strong and beautiful. Why are you so unhappy? And Manyara says, because everyone talks about how kind you are and they praise everything you do, Manyara replied. I'm certain that father loves you best. Uh, Manyara's, so Niasha's, show me a tableau of you being hurt. And Manyara's, show me a tableau of you hurting someone with your words. Whatever you want to do. Nice. Good job. <clears throat> I'm certain that father loves you best, but when I am a queen, everyone will know that your silly kindness is only weakness. Here we go. Niasha, pose, was sad that Manyara, pose, felt this way, but she ignored her sister's words and went about her chores. All right, so friends, show me pantomime of chores. Doing chores, doing chores. Niasha kept a small plot of land on which she grew millet, sunflowers, yams, and vegetables. Remember, millet is like flour. All right, she always sang as she worked, and some said it was her singing that made her crops more bountiful than anyone else's. So Niasha's now, you're gonna cross all around the stage. You're gonna use your whole space 
and you're going to garden and sing. Here you go. La, 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 la. I'm gardening, I'm gardening. La, 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 la. Maybe you're a better singer than Miss Madison. You probably are. Here we go. Great. Doing great. Um, oh, thank you. All right. Here we go. One day, Niasha noticed a small garden snake resting beneath a yam vine. Good day, little Neoka. Mr. Brown, what's your Neoka pose? Nice. All right. So every, all, all my Neokas, make sure your pose. Good day, little Neoka. She called to him. You are welcome here. You will keep away any creatures who might spoil my vegetables. She bent forward, gave the little snake a loving pat on the head, and then returned to her work. From that day on, Neoka was always at Niasha's side when she tended her garden. It was said that she sang all the more sweetly when he was there. All right. Remember our fourth character. Mufaro, remember that's the father. Mufaro knew nothing of how Manyara treated Niasha. Niasha was too considerate of her father's feelings to complain and Manyara was always careful to behave herself when Mufaro was around. Early one morning, oh, we have another character. Everybody gets to be the messenger. Early one morning, a messenger from the city arrived. Everybody, you're gonna leave your screen. Bye bye. Okay, you're gonna leave your screen and you're gonna enter from stage right. Gee, 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 a message, a message. And you're gonna say a message, a message from the king. Oh, here we go. Enter stage right. And here we go, a message. It's a message. A message from the king, from the king. <laughs> and repeat after me. <gasps> the most, oh, the great king wants a wife. The great king wants a wife. The most worthy and beautiful daughters in the land. The most worthy and beautiful daughters in the land. Are invited to appear before the king. Are invited to appear before the king. And he will choose one to become queen. And he will choose one to become queen. Very good, messengers. All right, now back to our other characters. Mufara, called Manyara, and Niasha, to join, or uh, to him. <clears throat> Mufaro, say, repeat after me. It would be a great honor to have one of you chosen. It would be a great honor to have one of you chosen. Very nice. Cross downstage center and say, it would be a great honor to have one of you chosen. It would be a great honor to have one of you chosen. Awesome. Prepare yourselves to journey to the city. I will call together all our friends to make a wedding party. We will leave tomorrow as the sun rises. <clears throat> Manyaras, here you go. Pez. But my father, Maniara said sweetly, it would be painful for either of us to leave you, even to be wife to the king. I know Niasha would grieve to death if she were parted from you. I am strong. Send me to the city and let poor Niasha be happy here with you. Everybody show me a pantomime of you tricking someone, of you tricking someone, being a little tricksy. Hmm. Nice. <gasps> Mufaro beamed with pride. The king has asked for the most worthy and the most beautiful. No, Manyara, I cannot send you alone. Only a king can choose between two such worthy daughters. Both of you must go. Mufaro say, both of you must go. Both of you must go. Very good. And friends, that is where we are going to end our staging for today. No. All right. No, no, I know, but we'll finish next week, okay? So you can go back and pause that and rehearse as many times as you would like. <gasps> Mr. Brian. All right, friends. So we did a lot today. Uh, we talked about blocking the business of uh, business of stage movement when, where you go. Uh, we played a little bit directors coming. So just as a reminder, let me see right now. Let me see your curtain speech. Please silence your cell phones and shut, and shut up, up your babies. Fantastic. All right. And let that go. Let that go. Because if that's the last words we have before the Wi-Fi ever cuts off, I'll be happy. So um, we also, uh, yeah, we did a little bit of staging with the blocking and got through Mufaro's Beautiful Daughters. So what I would like is if you have time during the week, if not, that's okay. Just think about it. Um, what we've done and if you want to rewind if you have a character that you chose but you want to do a different one that's cool too what do you say miss madison i think that's totally cool yeah it's great to experience all the characters so you see how all the story connects together how one connects to the other connects to the other it all affects the journey um so i think that's enough of that so right now what i want you to do is i want you to give me a tableau that shows me how you're feeling right now about class and everything that's happened so on the count of three one two three Go. Uh, 
breathe that in, take a big deep breath in. And with an exhale, let that all go, hands to your side. Acknowledging how we feel and put your hands in the middle or wherever the middle is. And I want you to say drama class on tres. All right, so uno, dos, tres, drama class. All right, uh, awesome, awesome. You're all awesome is what I'm trying to say. So tip your berets, flip your scarf back and we will see you all next time. All right, bye everyone.